We've just made an article about um, a package that at this point in time will not update or will not install even. Um, it's a package that we are going to investigate right now in this video. And the message that I wrote here was help us to keep the AOR up to date and everyone benefits from it. It means that an Arch Linux, um, an AOR package and here in the AOR on this URL here, you need to flag it out of date if something happens to it. In this case, we're going to try and fix it ourselves. So this link in here, if we click on it, it does not work. So that's the problem. The URL is, is broken and we need to figure out what URL is it then. There are other possibilities as you see. So that's the thing we're gonna figure out. But basically, first of all, let the maintainer know that the package is not working anymore. You can't install it at this point in time. So if everybody does this, then uh, we'll always get a beautiful AOR working all the time. So that's been set, um, we've got to figure it out. So we tried installing it, meaning we've done a yay and we tried to install it. Control H, there is this .cache file and there's the yay file in here. And that's quite interesting. A lot of things are in here that I've just installed on my system. But let's take a look at where we value wine. Here it is. That's the one we want to investigate. So control A and I'm going to delete all the rest. So this is the one we're going to look at. This is the package build, right? So the package build that we got from the AOR. So it's downloading the download snapshot. That's what it actually is doing. Yay. And it's going to extract it. Control H again download wow a lot of stuff in here as well control a just that one delete and then extract here there you are so this thing is the same as the other one control h three things okay three things but let's keep working in the cache why not so in here we have yay we have vivaldi codex and this thing in here so what we need if we can get rid of already if well, depends what you want to work on, on the folder in the downloads or here. It doesn't really matter. It's the same thing, right? Um, let's keep in the downloads. So this thing is not necessary, not for our uh, uh, exercise. But I see something interesting here. Update package SH. Let's have a look. Update with Atom. Open with Atom is better. What it's going to do, uh -huh, it's going to figure out the version, it's going to figure out the NDB5, it's going to put it in the version and put it in a variable. It's like a drawer, you put something in a drawer, you put it out and you can reuse it later. This is reusing it later and this is reusing it later. So maybe, maybe he's making something for us to have a super easy way to update the package build. So let's open the package build this time with sublime text. So these are the numbers, right? These are the versions. Let's see what's going to happen to it. Oops. When we run this thing. So Vivaldi is here. What happens if I update this element? Pop command not found. No problem. Let's try and install it to the pack no minus s pop or something. I don't know. Let's see if that, that works. Not found. Yay pop. What's this? Pop pop pop. Pop kit. Parsing HTML at the command line. That's going to be it. Okay. Nothing else. All right. So number eight. Pop. Installing pop. He wants to. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. So the Go uh, language is always a big thing to download and it's also needed if you want to build Yay. But um, okay, let's do it educational wise. So we can do this pop thingy. So already the word pop. Go is installed. How about this pop thing? So Yay pop, is it now installed? Control C, P, U. Pop. I have pop, right? So now I can try to run the script update package.sh. 
it uses a command in here somewhere at the back I guess it was pop find me keyboard texts and find me this data which I totally do not understand I need to investigate to understand that something happened right something changed you saw that and when we click on here elements have changed might have changed not sure so let's see if anything has changed by running the script and see if it works so has anything changed make package oh yeah it's it's changed all right so we can fix this particular problem by using the update uh, package from the maintainer so the maintainer was that kind enough to make a script so we can personally install um, well upgrade the package build ourselves so if you want to install it i'll just do sudo pacman minus u it's already installed you've seen it in the video but it's now reinstalled and there you go so without the user um, maintaining um, his, his package build online on the AOR we can use it thanks to this generous script here which is going to figure out what package he needs to download what URL needs to be um, well needs to be put into the package build because that's what happens here the package build is changed set means find me this thing and change it with that thing in the package build so these three lines change the package build and this is how we find the versions and md5 all right have fun learning more on arc linux